You know when you're in Premiere Pro and you're editing a video and you add a little camera movement to your footage and you know you have the little zoom in or a little zoom out and you go to play it back and it just doesn't look all that natural? Well, it turns out the only thing that you're missing to make that a nice natural movement is motion blur. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to do that all within Premiere Pro. Hey everyone, I'm Corey and I'm here to share a few tips and tricks that I've learned along the way from making videos every single day. And I just wanna to say today we're talking about motion blur within Premiere Pro. Motion blur can lead to an aesthetically pleasing look to motion graphics and animations. Motion blur as it relates to film and video is a result of the shutter angle or shutter speed. Shutter angle is the method of measuring the amount of time the sensor of the camera is exposed to the light that is creating the images that you see per frame. The longer or lower the shutter speed, the more motion blur you get. All right, let's jump into Premiere Pro and I can show you how to use motion blur with only using one effect. Say you wanna take this one clip and zoom into it to give it some emphasis. Most people go straight into the motion effect controls and play with their position and scale functions to reposition the clip this way, which by all means is a good option and works, but lacks the look of a real motion blur that a camera would produce. So let's leave all these options default. Instead, we're going to be using the transform effect located in the effects folder under distort. Use the same function to zoom in, but we have an added feature on this effect called shutter angle. Set it to 180 degrees and it gives our zoom a more polished and realistic look. This effect isn't just for zoom ins and zoom outs, you can also use it on text and animations. And it's easy as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this small tutorial. I uh, hope you learned something to take away to make your workflow a little bit easier on yourself. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe as I'll be posting more videos in the near future. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one.